thank you. Um, so this is a joint work in progress with Chris Skinner and EATR. Early of fifties, uh, Higner was looking at certain elliptic curves. This the y square is. Uh, e congruent to five. Uh, mod it and up. Uh, one can compute certain uh, mod to Selmer group associated to this uh, CM elliptic curve, and uh, so, so if one just looks at the rank of this mod to Selmer group, so so sorry, let's say this is E. And So this can be computed by a descent and uh, sort of the question is he was partly interested in was in this situation can we actually construct a non-torsion point on this elliptic curve So in, in this case, uh, Higner did end up constructing certain um, so based on certain explicit parameterization of this uh, elliptic curve by certain modular specific modular curve and, uh, and he uh, in this particular case did end up showing that this particular point are non torsion and um, so uh, sort of and later on, so um, so so maybe one question one can pose along these lines is: say we start with an, let's just say, elliptic curve or a number field. is just a prime and say that suppose that we can somehow the zp co rank for this elliptic curve is one then can one actually say construct some points or There has been uh, quite a bit of progress towards these questions in last few years, the uh, <laughs> due to Chris and Weizang independently, and also some developments, uh, other developments which I will recall. And uh, so this talk will be certain results of uh, this nature. So let's. Uh, Again, like maybe introduce a little bit more notation. So, 
we have rational points on our elliptic curve and then this is the rank which is finite and um, maybe typ typically um, 0 or 1 um, dependent on some And the shaw which is conjecturally finite. Okay. And these two uh, sort of invariants are captured at least partly by the Selmer group for a prime P. complex L function and uh, from now we'll just um, suppose that F is totally real one can this is to have certain analytic properties for this uh, L function but maybe it's not strictly speaking necessary at this stage but so in, as we know there is a BST conjecture and this is the case which Sorry, so the following are equivalent for r equals 0 or 1. So it's maybe it's not a ge generic situation. So the rank is r and sha is finite. parts from this Selmer and in the, the rank part of BST is no some certain complex analytic one implies two is uh, just definition and um, three implies one so f equals q this is a landmark uh, of the landmark work of gross Sagi. Polywagin and Rubin. Around uh, maybe mid to late 80s. And uh, so beginning with certain complex, apparently complex analytic information, one tries to say something about the rational points and Tate Shafrevich group. So there is an auxiliary. Um, choice so just to be maybe too simplistic and um, so one sort of begins by choosing certain k over q imaginary quadratic such that the base change l function for elliptic curve over k 
sorry uh, uh, it's exactly one and um, so, so this is some auxiliary like the we are beginning with some 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 data over q but then some and then by this gross uh, Zagier formula it's let me just use maybe GC from now. Um, suppose certain Higner points are non torsion, so these are points on our elliptic curve over K. This is of a generalization of notion Higner introduced. And That's the key um, work of Kolywagin and Rubin on Euler systems then allows one to show that once one point is non-torsion and somehow it, uh, okay, maybe let me not even try, but let, let's just say, so, one particular point non-torsion in place this actually generates basically essentially generates the model way group and the final analysis um, and the case of over the next uh, 10-15 years this the case of general totally real field was uh, considered so cross gear formula was maybe partly initiated by Shou Sang to in the setup of general totally real field and sort of culminating in this uh, YCC so this Shin Yuan, Wei Zhang and Shou Zhang so this is sort of gross sagi without any condition so and the work of on this sort of Euler system of Higner points was again um, considered by a num number of people uh, and sort of and culminating in certain because of Nekovar where he uh, have essentially in quite quite a bit of generality. Now this uh, the uh, implication of from Beginning with some periodic, in, apparently periodic information like some p infinity Selmer, Selmer group one, trying, one's asking for some sort of complex analytic statement, and um, so this is so kind of uh, so let's maybe just say first for r equals zero, the sum of p infinity Selmer group is finite and we are asking for whether some central L value is non-zero and uh, this was sort of um, since the formulation of Iwasawa main conjectures due to maybe Greenberg or even before so, so this uh, sort of and so, sorry let's from from now let's suppose that P is ordinary for A So, so this is known to be a sort of almost immediate consequence of an Iwasawa main conjecture. This is maybe it's a huge, usual Iwasawa main conjecture. Maybe you can say something later for A over 
maybe if certain cyclotomic ZP not certain actual only cyclotomic ZP extension and so so in particular like this so there was sort of like once one has some IMC or more precisely some divisibility towards IMC like this implication was known to follow so 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 in the non CM case this is work of um, this IMC was so sorry now let's say f equals q first from here like to cut off from maybe early to mid 2000s um, um, the CM case it was goes back earlier to Rubin's early 90s and then the general totally re real case this um, work was generalized uh, or sort of the results are due to Shinwan again non-CM and the CM case was sort of <laughs> separately treated building okay so, so, so this was mingling she that this was maybe slightly after 2010 or something and this precedes it a little uh, So, so somehow like as I'm just just repeating like once we had some certain like sort of you well formulated I mean some state some specific main conjecture then for r equals zero it's a co consequence but that's no longer the case when con considering the situation r equals one and um, until few year, years ago there were results of this nature like sort of starting with some rank one situation rank one periodic information one is trying to get some information complex analytic information but involving derivatives one is trying to say some okay. and the only kind of so so the earlier as we mentioned like there was in very specific cases there were the results of Higner and it was the Etienne had uh, obtained certain results of similar nature, but again, in this this is kind of this CM so congruent certain cases for congruent number CM. And so, so maybe the special, quite quite I mean seemingly special situation, and. Mm, few years ago maybe four or five years ago suddenly there were sort of two um, simultaneous and independent approaches to this question and they were Chris and Weizong and uh, they have sort of quite different flavor I mean, again, the risk of oversimplifying. So this was um, this is like this again. First, f equals q. So, so, ju so just uh, saying a little. Um, these were both in the. So Fei Sung introduced so, so somehow for a rank zero situation, one can if a main conjecture is available, then then we already have certain straight uh, approach. Um, and Fei Sung like uh, uh, he introduced certain technique of level raising and rank lowering.
this beginning with sort of Selmer P infinite some Selmer rank one situation. So maybe by a certain level level raising one can go to some rank zero situation and if one's sort of keeping can keep track of certain precise congruences then in rank zero one can hope to use like these results and somehow And again, some auxiliary throughout, like there is a choice of imaginary quadratic field involved, and one is trying to show some specific Higner point is non torsion. And um, so, somehow, like this step maybe does not explicitly involve Iwasawa theory, but it's the last step, like where one sort of reduces to rank zero situation where one uh, ends up using results following from Iwasawa, some Iwasawa statement. And um, he said a uh, quite different approach. So um, instead of like trying to show some Higner point is non-torsion, so a new uh, formula which expresses periodic log of Higner points in terms of some periodical function. So this is this was a BDP. And, um, and then again somehow one can um, if one can go towards certain Iwasawa situation involving the particular periodical function appearing here then one might uh, for some auxiliary And there was sort of subsequent development due to this, this Castilla, Francis Castilla and Shinwan. And uh, in particular, they uh, managed to remove like in these results, there was some sort of small hypothesis involving finiteness of, so here we are supposing that the rank is one so in principle the part can come from Tate Shafrevich group or a point and here there was some hypothesis involving something like finiteness of sharp but not not quite and uh, yeah, they managed to get around that hypothesis and so this is maybe more along the lines of this uh, okay. okay and so this uh, so this progress in the non non CM case seem to um, exclude the CM case at some maybe at certain crucial steps. It it seem it seemed that uh, Galois image being large was utilized, for example, in certain sort of uh, in in this process here. Um, and so at least in the beginning we could not. Uh, make this approach work in directly in the CM case and on last summer like the so this is still over Q so and this is ordinary and um, so just maybe to say some words so it involves certain sort of auxiliary Higner points like I mean all the way here there are auxiliary Hig Higner points and one is trying to show their non-torsion but maybe like which Higner points one one is looking at maybe somehow dictates um, much. so and I'll say be saying more about this later so it involves certain auxiliary Higner points and And, 
in those particular Higner points how they is some relation with elliptic units which are GL1 Euler system and um, okay so if one sort of naively um, so now one like the steps the same for over totally real field we have the same question and um, at least it seemed in the beginning that so this elliptic units at least are known to exist only for f equals q so it seemed maybe there are some issues so so the here so after the long introduction like here is the sort of theorem in um, Say we start with a CM elliptic curve over a totally real field. With CM by an order in an imaginary quadratic field, let's just say K. And suppose P is a prime satisfying certain hypothesis. So A co prime to the discriminant and not two three means co prime to certain class number hl minus for l the composite field l is kf this p totally split in l is the ordinary hypothesis but let me just say so a over f is good ordinary function at all primes above p and the last one is uh, that the gf action on this mod, mod p Tate module is absolutely irreducible. So, so certain sort of assumptions then just to repeat the same thing but particular the Tate Shafrevich P part of uh, actual Tate Shafrevich group is finite like by this recovers. So, so this is the sort of the main maybe the main result. And uh, so, so so this is a PAD criteria to have analytic rank one and as in earlier cases one can also give a mod P criteria. A F P B as above satisfying the hypothesis. Then if the mod P segment group is just Z mod P. a little bit more that the shy is trivial p part of shy is trivial okay. 
this is a start this is a mod p information so just by now kayamalema like this and we are supposing that there is no torsion above f like this uh, so, so we have this current and then this is like this repeating but And um, so this is a CM case. We have a uh, ordinary CM case. We have the periodic gross age, the Daniel Disney. So we know P part of BST in the, in this case ordinary for the CM elliptic curve. We're supposing this mod p cellmer is just z mod p space. Okay, maybe I should have said here and Are there any questions before I? Is this a way of proving vanishing of an L function of the electric curve at the center without appealing to browser? Oh, you, do you, you don't have a formula for the. You're not using any formula for the derivative. Uh, using the Rosa Gay is used here. Where? Um, I'm not yet uh, st st the strategy, but yeah, like so. So by gross zage, one 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 goes to a, so firstly one goes to a situation where we have gross zage formula, and then to show this statement, one has to show a certain Higner point is non-torsion, and yeah, yeah and way to produce no, no. Uh, how how do you are sketching the color the proof of the color yeah yeah what's the point of the bottom line you mean how how to do this or? it seems that after the first implication you already have it in both uh like this I mean the p p part is trivial oh you want to figure out yeah yeah, yeah but uh but just make a remark without so several of this hypothesis can probably be removed for example this uh, hypothesis on the class number uh, okay so in the dependent on the time we try to so the approach, so, so from now, just for simplicity of notation, take f to be q, and introduce some relevant Higner points, and then, so one does, sort of one first introduces candidates for non-trivial points, but then uh, the, que I mean, maybe the actual question is about, like, how can one show those specific points are non-torsion, so this is why a certain Iwasawa main conjectures okay. Okay. so 
so we are in the in the same case and so one might uh, some one can try to explore the cm cm action and then one because there's I mean, as we still mentioned before like there's an auxiliary choice of imaginary quadratic field involved in this uh, uh, all maybe almost all of the results mentioned so far and um so if we are particularly in the cm case with cm by k then one might be led to work over k at first but then there is some um, sort of issue that one come comes across so like a has cm by k as, as before and if one considers just the base change of elliptic curve to to this quadratic field then actually the root number is plus one so so there are no um at least no naive Higner points in the situation and uh, okay. so, so, so somehow like one introduces certain auxiliary setup still over k and which be encodes the information so, so let's just so say that so a is over q over elliptic curve and l let's say that the corresponding hk character is lambda conjugate uh, self dual with infinite one zero and we're supposing that the selmer rank is uh, one p selmer rank is one so by by parity uh, known in this case like the root number of this heke character is minus one okay and now here is some like auxiliary choice of characters so one can find some finite order character such that this L1 lambda star times chi naught over chi naught star is non-zero uh, for this star is, is the composing Hecke character with complex conjugation <coughs> and uh, so, so this is some anti-cyclotomic twist of conjugate of our Hecke characters this is and, uh, so maybe one motivation uh, to introduce such a Object is this factorization for L function. So, so somehow one is trying to maybe look for for suitable Higner points over k, and like the general this YZZ situations involves rankin silver convolution of like pi chi, pi some cuspidal automorphic representation, and so if one looks at like this, so theta series associated to lambda over chi naught, and then considers this. So this particular rankin silver convolution, then just a direct calculation, we have this. And, and so this vanishes to order, order one if and only if like what we are trying to show holds. And this is the same as L function of our elliptic curve. Okay. So that's some, more some specific choice. And also, like here, the said the root number is minus one. Here it's plus one. The L value itself is not non-zero. And so this is a sort of so theta lambda chi zero chi zero is a. Sort of so, so, so let me maybe just say because the so, so this is this fits in YZZ setup. So, 
so which maybe okay let's say a little bit more so so let's say that this theta series generates a speed of automorphic representation pi and okay so that is so firstly the central character of pi times chi naught restricted to a q cross is one and the the epsilon factor for the Rankine cyber convolution is minus one. So we do get Higner points in the So in particular, uh, let's say a little bit more about those what the Higner points. In particular, the question we are trying to show, like the original one, gets translated to showing non-triviality of these particular Higner points. Okay, and, and maybe just for notational simplicity, can introduce uh, some intermediate, some abelian variety. So, so let's say that L is a coefficient field corresponding to this. Uh, theta series it's just Hecke eigen form so okay. and um so, so, so we have some abelian variety a over K, which is basically serial tensor of abelian variety corresponding to this theta series and this character so, uh, such that so this ol is the uh, uh, sorry maybe the L function for this abelian variety over K is product of this sort of conjugates. this uh, particular YZZ set up in this sort of non-trivial character case so firstly and even before we get certain like Shimura curves so, so that exist. Associated to B, and this is some quaternion algebra constructed uh, the out of like, basic. It, it is ramified at the in fi at finite places where the local root number is minus one, and our Abelian variety admits modular parameterizations. So this x maps to A, and um, it's also associated to B. Okay. And um, Higner point in this situation is so. So if let's say this modular parameterization is phi, then um, so this p phi chi naught is So for this P is some 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 CM point in the Shimura curve. So so this is just repeating the YZC setup in in this particular case. 
and now this so so just this order is L S um, maybe let me sorry let's call this as p note And one can look at the Selmer group. Also, so the original information is still there. This is only auxiliary. But now, if we have some prime, like let's say we choose a prime p of, of, of about p in the coefficient field, and then look at the Selmer group for for this particular this new abelian variety over k, then the this co rank. Is actually one, and and this this follows from the initial hypothesis on the ZP core and being one, and the choice of the Hecke character. I mean, basically, just this L value is non-zero, so the corresponding Selmer group is finite, and the two pieces to this. What is, what is P again? Um, Oh, it's a sorry. I I forgot to. Yeah, there should be phi here. Yeah, sorry. So P is a CM point with CM by K. Yeah. So we for our our K is embedding inside the quaternion, and so fixed by this corresponding to torus, we have a CM point, and then we. Map it down to the. Yeah, sorry. I, okay. Okay. So, 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 so we have sort of the original question about about Q. Now we have translated it to some question over K involving this auxiliary abelian variety. So, some of the this co rank is one, and one now is wants to show that the. Yes, 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 this is Y Z Z. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yes. And so now the question is at least posed over imaginary quadratic field. And um, this theorem of Rolle you're quoting is for twist by an anti cyclotomic finite order. Yes, yeah, yeah. So that's the hardest case, the case we had uh, <laughs> dealt with. That's where you had to assume it was here. Um, actually, like I mean, that's how. Yeah, but yes. I remember that when he was looking at the cyclotomic, it was quite easy. But the anti cyclotomic, he had to use Baker. Oh, uh, uh. That's all the theorem of the Yes, yes, yeah, the same same theorem, yeah, yes. And then he yeah. forms the model. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how the it up. But, uh, 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 yeah, yeah yes. Mm. Okay, so, so, so till now it has been a, a translation of the question and the almost the so then no no Iwasawa sort of situation yet like this is just over K and so it's a uh, <laughs> Just draw a square first, and can dependent on time we can try to fill it in. Okay. 
so someone is trying to show this particular statement which is this p converse and um, so this is about the question is about showing a Higner point over k being non-trivial and um, so, so maybe this is our original question the sort of p converse over k in this sort of auxiliary setup and um, one can kind of go to some Iwasawa situation involving fa deformation of these Higner points so that's a Higner main conjecture this is still a conjecture but um, write down so we'll soon write down what the statement is but it's some, somehow measuring like how far Selmer group is away from our Higner points but in a deformation in a family and, um, and so this is under a certain hypothesis so sort of Iwasawa statement involving anticyclotomic ZP line is um, equivalent to another main conjecture which was be introduced by uh, Chris so, so, so this is sort of BDP Bertoni Damon present now in this particular situation because of non-trivial kites uh, Liu Shang Chang LZC uh, main conjecture and, um, and and here some like there are a few things involved like one of them is a periodic waltz perger formula in a in a family so, so this is still like this is main conjecture statement and it's still a conjecture like so so, so it may be it may look like going around in circles we are, we are just translating question to some other situations and uh, finally like in because and then here it's quite i mean it's not necessarily cm this tra transition um and one kind of ends up showing this particular statement by certain cases of the cm usual cm main conjecture so the actual maybe the this conjecture is proven at this stage so let me <laughs> let me try to so these are just maybe they look like symbols for now let's try to So this is our K, Q, and say this is the anticyclotomic ZP extension, and um, okay. and the corresponding Iwasawa algebra like lambda K anticyclotomic, and we can just take we may consider rational coefficients. Okay, and then we have the sort of the Selmer Selmer group associated to our original abelian variety. So this S is okay. So, sorry, maybe let, let let's just say this is cell for our abelian variety over the anticyclotomic tau. Okay, so, so involving this particular prime gothic p we look at gothic p infinity torsion points of this abelian variety and um, this is a lambda and, and may, maybe we okay we take ra rational coefficient so so this is lambda ac qp module okay and um so one can deform at the bottom layer we had this Higner, Higner point P naught over K and it's, it's Kumar image gives us element in a Selmer group at the bottom and one can kind of construct like this is so, so kappa is some the compatible sequence of norm compatible se sequence of points so, so one can construct certain element here out of Higner classes so, so this is so. Okay. 
and um, and we also have the corresponding module on the discrete side this x And the Higner main conjecture, it's just, yeah. um, so main conjecture without L functions as we see in class. So, so this, uh, so firstly, this lambda lambda mo QP model has rank one. This sort of Higner class, so it's the rank is one in this particular Higner class is a non-torsion class. Okay, and the second part is sort of the statement about how far it's me measuring how it lives in the cell metal. So the quotient is a torsion module and characteristic ideal of S mod kappa times it's more kappa uh, but also it's, uh, it's inward involution coming from inversion in the anticyclotomic tau like gamma goes to gamma inverse and this is characteristic ideal of x torsion Under like the uh, hype, under the assumptions, we had like this uh, like th this particular choice of like pi and chi. The abelian variety is built out of pi and chi, and so under like we had this root number assumption that so so the root number for this so it's it's an abelian variety corresponding to basically twist of our abelian variety arising from pi by the character chi naught and the root number is minus one so some of like sort of along a fa along anticyclotomic family basically the rank is one no, like, uh, okay. and um so so this as we know like non-triviality of these points is a result of cornu like this First part on this. Okay. So let me. So so let's let's just quickly. Um, Say, say at least why this statement like Higner main conjecture implies the peak converse. So, so we are supposing that this um, so this co rank is one, and this co rank is one, um, then implies that this. Uh, So characteristic ideal of x tor and gamma ac gamma k ac co-invariant uh, okay sorry this is uh, x tor gamma uh, This is what I want to say. Okay. Yeah. And this implies this S mod kappa gamma case K C. Find it more even. So then this class descends to or so K naught is non zero. 
and it's, it's this Higner, Higner point being non-trivial. Uh, maybe just a couple of minutes and okay. So, so let me just uh, see um, um, how. Um, So, so one is sort of to show this uh, Higner uh, main conjecture when look, so looking at this BDP or LZZ uh, main conjecture for A over K anticyclotomic and this is some And uh, so because if we are in the CM situation like this, ends up admitting factorization. So this is mm -hmm. in terms of Cart's periodic function. This, uh, corresponding thing on the Selmer group side and then on ends up using this sort of CM main conjectures uh, to Rubin. Okay. Sorry, I'll stop here.